Hey guys, it's Hannah and for today's video I'm going to show you how to do ombre slash gradient nails four different ways. Some of these are already on my channel but this video is so highly requested I figured I'd add all four into one video and make it super easy. So let's get started. First way is with a makeup sponge and I believe this is the most popular way and you will just need a makeup sponge of course and I'm going to start off with like Totally Valley Girl from NCLA on my nail and I'm also going to apply the same color onto the sponge along with Dive In from Sally Hansen right next to it. Then I'm just going to sponge it onto the nail and then repeat the same step as before two or three more times until I'm happy with the result. I also like to let each layer dry before adding the next. It doesn't have to be completely dry but let's say about 75-80%. to 80 Oh, and another thing is make sure you always begin with the base coat so that the polish can adhere better to the nail. The next way is with acrylic paint. I use this a lot when I'm doing details and it mixes really well so it's perfect for a gradient. It's basically the same steps as before. I'm just going to use acrylic paint instead of polish. If you're using acrylic paint, you always want to start with a polish as a base color and also this is just crafting paint. It's nothing special. You can find it in Walmart, Target, etc. And like before, I'm going to clean up with the Q-tip and polish remover. The third way is with a glitter striper and for this I'll be using Black Holy from Floss Gloss, Golden Eye from Sally Hansen and a gold glitter striper from the new black. First I'm just going to apply the black polish about halfway onto the nail. Then with the striper, I'm just going to make small strokes where the gold polish and the black polish meet until it blends together. Then I'm going to add some gold glitter to the rest of the gold polish so that it can blend even better. And the last way is a pretty glitter gradient. For this, I'll be using Bubble Bath from OPI, number 201 from Inglot, and Hollywood Hills Hot Number from NCLA. So after applying two coats of Bubble Bath, which is a sheer natural color, I'm going to apply a layer of the smaller glitter, and I'm going to go almost all the way down to the cuticle, but not quite. I'm going to apply a second layer of the same glitter, but this time concentrating more around the tip. And last, I'm going to take the chunkier glitter and applying it mainly around the tip, but then having a few glitters cascading down the nail. And now it's time for the top coat. This will help protect your manicure and give it a nice shiny finish or a matte finish if you prefer. And remember to always cap the free edge of your nail to completely seal in your manicure. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. And be sure to find me on my social networks and tag me all your nail art pictures. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.